Hello, everyone, and welcome to our time together. Today, we're diving into a powerful message that echoes through the ages. We find guidance and comfort in Matthew 6 verse 34, where Jesus tells us not to worry about tomorrow. Let's explore how we can truly live without the weight of tomorrow's concerns. In Matthew 6 verse 34, Jesus encourages us not to worry about tomorrow, for each day has enough trouble of its own. This isn't a call to be careless but a reminder of the importance of living in the present moment. The context here is Jesus teaching about God's provision and care for his children. As we reflect on these words, it's an invitation to shift our focus from the uncertainties of the future to the faithfulness of our Heavenly Father. Worrying about tomorrow doesn't add a single hour to our lives, instead, it robs us of the joy and peace meant for today. Now, how can we practically apply this wisdom? Here are a few steps. 1. Trust in God's provision. Remember, just as God takes care of the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, He will provide for you. It's essential to ground ourselves in the promises of God, specifically His assurance of provision. Here are two powerful verses that highlight this promise. Philippians 4 verse 19, Paul reassures us with these words, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. This verse is a beautiful reminder that our Heavenly Father, who is rich in glory, knows our needs and is more than able to provide. When we internalize this truth, it becomes a foundation for a worry-free life. It encourages us to shift our focus from our circumstances to the limitless resources of our God. Jesus provides a profound guideline in Matthew 6 verse 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. This verse teaches us that prioritizing our relationship with God, seeking his kingdom and righteousness, unlocks the door to his provision. It's an invitation to trust that God knows our needs and will graciously supply them as we prioritize him in our lives. The other steps are to, live in the present, embrace the moments of today. Don't let the worries of tomorrow steal the beauty of now. Remember to pray and surrender, take your concerns to God in prayer. Surrender your anxieties, knowing that He cares for you. As we conclude, remember that worrying about tomorrow won't change the outcome, but trusting in God's plan can. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you, acknowledging that our help comes from you, the Maker of heaven and earth. In this moment, we surrender our worries, fears, and uncertainties. Your word declares in Matthew 6 verse 34 not to worry about tomorrow, for each day has enough trouble of its own. We take these words to heart, Lord, as an invitation to cast our anxieties on you. Lord, we recognize you as our ultimate provider. Your promises assure us that you know our needs even before we ask. So, we surrender our financial concerns, our health, our relationships, and every area of our lives into your loving care. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider, and we trust that you will meet all our needs according to your glorious riches in Christ Jesus. As we seek first your kingdom and righteousness, guide our steps, O Lord. Help us to prioritize our relationship with you above all else. May we live with an eternal perspective, knowing that as we seek your kingdom, all the things we need will be added unto us. Lord, we declare our trust in you. Even when circumstances seem uncertain, we trust in your unchanging character. Like Psalm 121, where the psalmist found assurance in your watchful care, we too find peace knowing that you never slumber nor sleep. Guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. May you carry the peace that comes from trusting in God's wisdom. Remember, with faith, we can live without worry embracing each day with hope and joy. Until next time, take care.